Pikeville Fire Department is currently going through their pediatric emergency care program through Kentucky EMSC. Though rare, the department does encounter situations in which a child needs emergency care and must be transported to the hospital. All members of the department participate in the program once a year. Well, typically we don't come across it a lot. Uh, most of the calls we have involving pediatrics stem from car wrecks. So typically when it comes to other areas of the medical service for children, we don't, we usually don't get those a lot because most parents usually just if they're sick, pack them up, take them to the hospital or to the clinic themselves. So rarely do we haul a pediatric when it comes to the medical side. Most of it's from the car wreck side or some type of traumatic event. And that's why it's important for us to stay on top of all those skills because like anything, you don't use it a lot, you're going to use it or lose it. So we typically like to train specifically on pediatrics just to make sure we stay up to date with our skills. Tech the Halls with Appalachian Wireless offering you up to $850 off select devices extended through Christmas Eve with no activation fee. Up to $850 off the latest and greatest devices. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Providing EMS care for a child is different and sometimes more complex compared to an adult. The department prepares for these scenarios as if they were real. In 2018, we, we, we started a program that the Kentucky Board of EMS do Kentucky EMSC, which is a med emergency medical service for children, they put an emphasis on this. Uh, restraining a child properly, uh, using the medication doses properly that we're allowed to use. Um, we like to do it in the ambulance, try to keep it as real as possible instead of just doing it in the classroom on the table. That way we know what we're working with. Um, we just want to make sure that all of our members know all these things because it's important to do that. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.